New tonight, family members are describing the heartbreaking moments a man was thrown overboard near Fort DeSoto. Today, crews found Michael Ryan's body. Our Chris Trachman joins us live to explain how the tragedy could have been even worse. Chris? instinct to jump in the water after her husband, but a split-second decision to stay in the boat and call for help may have saved her life. The current out Bunce's Pass is, is violent. It's absolutely violent. Michael Ryan's family says the boater never meant to be in the water. He accidentally fell overboard while fixing the engine. His wife tried throwing him a ring buoy, but he kept being pulled farther from the boat. He called to have her get the longer rope she turned back to the front of the boat, got the rope. When she turned back, he was gone. The waters north of Fort DeSoto Park are notorious for dangerous currents. Ryan's wife thought about trying to save him. She wanted to jump in. She felt that she should have jumped in to help him. And, and we all told her if that had happened, then both of you would be missing. After vanishing for three days, the body of the 49-year-old was spotted by a boater in just five feet of water near an island at the mouth of Bunce's Pass. His family had joined with the sheriff's office since Monday, searching the water in their own boat. To have to just stand here and wait for work is, is just brutal. You can't imagine, you know, again, you don't think something like this will happen to your family, so when it does, it's just, uh, it's heartbreaking. Ryan's brother says while the last three days have been the most difficult, they're trying to remember how just moments before he died, Michael Ryan was doing what he enjoyed most. He made a post on Facebook about it doesn't get any better than this. Um, so, you know, he had a wonderful day with his wife, and hopefully at some point she can get over this and remember that wonderful day. And the sheriff's office says that Ryan's death serves as a very grim reminder of just how dangerous the waters are north of Fort DeSoto and that nobody should risk being in these currents under any circumstances. We're live at Fort DeSoto Park. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.